Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Terra Firma Craft. I am Mr. Envelope and today I am excited and happy to be back in the world because if you saw the last episode you will know that I have been struggling to uh, get the world back to how it was because um, my hard drive crashed and I kind of lost um, the current save file and I had to work from an old one from mid-January but anyways we're back Oh, I've been playing this for like, it took me about like a good 10 hours to get things back to how they were. Or it feels like 10 hours. It was like kind of on and off. Uh, but everything is back to how it was. And uh, believe it or not, <laughs> uh, I think where we left off last time, we were probably heading on to our third year or something. Um, yeah, we're still on our first year. <laughs> not like the first year. We're like, uh, it's hard to explain. We're like a whole year ahead of schedule like we're in late fall right now i think oh no we're in autumn i think we left off last time it was early winter for the year later the year after what we're in now it's it's hard to explain it's because from that episode i found out it was the gardening episode which was about like 15 or something um from there we had done like barely any exploring we kind of just worked from around home and so a lot of the time in between those episodes were spent like exploring and that actually takes a lot of time. Like I never realized, but it, it actually does. Um, but I've been just focusing on getting everything back to how it was and not exploring, just using grabbing, only having to leave if I absolutely had to. Um, so I made, I remade the forge and everything. I got it looked into how it was before, you know, all the storage and everything. Uh, we obviously don't have as many things melted up, uh, for obvious reasons, but, um, I just got done remaking all this armor, and I think I did a lot better than last time. Um, we have a bunch of iron tools, we have swords, pickaxes, uh, I got my, my shovel right here, um, we have an axe, you know, just a few iron things, we got the bloomery back, which I'm very happy about, uh, I've gone and smelted all of the iron, so it's in bloom form right now. I have a crucible. I went out and actually looked for a crucible. I think that took the longest because I forgot where the kaolinite was. Um, and then for a second, I forgot where the graphite was, but it's like right over there. It's like not even far. Like, uh, if we take a look at the map really quick, uh, we are right here. Whoop, too far. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are right here. And I'm pretty sure that the graphite is just right here. So, yeah, it wasn't too far. I had like remembered it was over there. Um, and I also did things a little differently too. So you remember last time there was the wood storage right here, uh, a nice walkway through. Um, it's still there, <laughs> but it's down over here. Now we come down the staircase that I made. It's just kind of cobble. Uh, we come in here. Very nice. It's ex exactly like last time, except probably, you know, smaller details, ceilings, a lot more plain. Um, all the wood's still on the floor. By the way, these are like pretty much all full of wood. I've been very on top of uh, keeping wood because I remembered how much of a struggle it was to get charcoal and everything. Um, and it's connected to the, the forge. I think it's a lot better this way. I like it a lot. And honestly, it is a little bit cheaty, I feel like, that I kind of had like a fresh restart, but not really, you know? Um, I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. You guys are you guys can judge all you want, <laughs> uh, but I, I think it's fine how it is now. And um, I went ahead and I cut some of the um, peach trees. Uh, I replanted some of them over here. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any of the schist, I think is what I had um, to make the fancy tree beds. Um, but I went ahead and I just used cobblestone and we have four extra uh, peach saplings over here. And uh, those guys are growing. I actually did get a small harvest from them. So that's pretty cool. And, um, one of the prob one of the bigger things too, um, I went ahead and I made like the, I made like the whist, I made the alcohol. I forget which alcohol I made. Um, I made some in these two barrels. In fact, that's vinegar right now. This one's corn whiskey. Okay. Uh, these have all been brine at some point. I've been like trying to keep track of them. Like we got a whole thing of brine right here and uh, I've been trying to pickle a lot of the, um, vegetables that i have and we still have like all this stuff everything is decaying a lot faster too i think that's because um it hasn't been winter yet and all of my vegetables got like really cooled down during winter if that makes sense um what the hell happened here <laughs> um everything got cooled down a lot during winter so 
everything kind of preserved a little better, if that makes sense. I don't even know if that's true. Um, but everything, I think because it was like summer during all of this, uh, things have still been decaying really fast. And honestly, I think it's fine because we've been pretty on top of gardening. Um, I mean, if I'm, if I'm not doing anything, I'll go and cut off all the decay. Uh, but otherwise, I'm just going to let it go. Um, and so what I've been doing in between episodes is just trying to come up with ways uh, to be a lot more efficient. Because uh, TFC is a very grindy game. Like, it never stops. Um, that's one thing that I really like about it, though. It, like, it, it's, it's not going to stop being grindy. Um, and some people really don't like that. I really do. <laughs> uh, but even though it's grindy and I like that part of it, I still like to have some things uh, run more efficiently than how they could be. Um, and in the future, I'm already starting to think of things to do with minecarts because we could probably get back into that. I probably just need to go get a bit of gold, uh, which I kind of know where there's some at. We don't have like any of that gold that we had from before either. So um, I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's not that big a deal. Dang it, I'm out of ladders. <laughs> um, and so, I forgot what I, where I was going. It's not that big a deal that we don't have the gold. Uh, I can go get everything because we kind of have like a whole year to kill if we really want to be exactly where we were before. Um, but I don't think it's that big a deal. We can just go re-exploring everything again because it'll, it'll be just as fun as before. Um, and over here, remember when I... Last episode, before the whole 28 and a half, on episode 28... Um, I planted some trees over here. They were actually hickory and not oak wood, but I, I used oak wood because they're pretty good wood too. Um, I put some glass up here to try to force the tree to grow into a certain way. And I think it worked or it just got really lucky and it uh, happened to work that way. Um, I put one piece of glass uh, directly on a side of it four blocks high. And then over here, I put one four blocks high at a diagonal to the sapling. And as you can see, a lot of the trees grew pretty large. And what I'm hoping that I'll get from this is that when I chop down the tree, this tree, it'll take down that tree and this tree. So I'm gonna actually go grab a better ax because I don't think this has enough durability for all that. Um, and let's chop it down and see what exactly happens. Um, yeah, I really, I really wanna know what happens and um, I want to try to chop down these ones in a single chop too. I tried to place these down like in a good way. Um, but some of them didn't grow. And if they start knocking down uh, one by one, then I'm going to try to save some of the saplings. And you'll, you'll see, you'll see. Let me go grab the axe. <laughs> Another thing I've been trying to do with the saplings is just if I have any extra ones, I'll throw them down around the base. So if I ever needed wood really quick... Um, I could just grab some really quick, like all of these um, Douglas firs uh, were planted here, so I can just grab these, and these give a lot of wood, um, I've gone over them like in the beginning of the series, um, but also these uh, aspen trees, they're growing pretty crazy too, I didn't know that those trees could grow crazy like that, um, and that's kind of what we want, because those are going to be what give us the most wood um, for less effort, and holy crap, spider, don't push me off the edge, no! If you could drop some string, that would be great. Thank you, buddy. I very much appreciate it. Okay, so let's see how this works. We want it to chop down both those trees next to it. Oh, it worked! Yes! That is awesome! Oh, we didn't get that much wood, though. Did it fall somewhere? I feel like we should have gotten more wood. We only got like a stack and we only got 20 pieces of wood from that. That doesn't seem right, but, oh, and then that tree grew. <laughs> um, but holy crap, that was, that was pretty cool. That was a lot less effort for, I guess, chopping down all those trees. Because as you can see, even with the iron axe, it still takes a while. Oh, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> that guy's going to stay right there. Uh, give me, give me this. Come on, go in the, go in the spot. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, 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 maybe it just like flew over here. How much do we have? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's where all the wood went. All right. Let's go ahead and said that. Blah. <laughs> let's go ahead and see how much we got. Um, I know we got four stacks at least. Oh, wow. There's like, there's a lot more. <laughs> um, so that's like five stacks. Oh my God. Stop doing that. 
That is pretty crazy. That's like five stacks, ten. Stupid amount. Stupid amount of wood. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and chop this one down. I do kind of want to save the leaves, but... Um, it's the leaves that are connecting that make all of these fall down at once. At least I think, and holy crap, that guy stayed out there. That's annoying. Um, come on. Eh. Okay, well, that's, that's honestly really annoying that that stayed up there, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that for now. Um, yeah, this tree farm's pretty good. Like I said, the only problem is the leaves, but we need the leaves to be connecting because that's what makes them all fall down at once. Uh, maybe we can have like two trees off to the side or like a few uh, that we use just for getting some leaves back. I think that would probably be the best idea, the smartest way to handle things because, wow, this, this worked a lot better than I thought. And I really like the Douglas fir idea. Oh, wow, it knocked down these ones too. I like the Douglas fir trees because, you know, they're like almost just as effective. Like you get good amount of wood for what you're chopping down. But this is so much faster. <laughs> like this is so much better. Like look how much we got. This is stupid. I almost feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, move all this now. Put it in a pit kiln. Um, probably harvest all that wood and then we can go grab some more of those saplings and uh, probably try to get back on track to where we were before because things still feel kind of weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm still not, I'm, I'm like I'm forgetting something, but I'll, I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, probably don't need those bones. <laughs> um, I guess I don't need these six ladders. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all the trees. Yeah, I did throw out that potato. Um, I chopped down all those guys too, and uh, there's still plenty of the Douglas firs all around. I have two extra saplings to spare. Uh-huh. Yeah, things are going good with in the wood department. In fact, um, I'm going to go bring uh, this bit of wood right now, and I'm going to start another pit kiln, but not just any pit kiln, guys. This is probably the biggest pit kiln I have ever made. Um, it is a 5 by 5 by 2 Yeah. This is a pretty big one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, that one needs to be filled, 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 and filled. All right, and then doot, 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 doot. Awesome. Yep, this is going to give us a very nice amount of charcoal, and I'm very looking forward to that because um, I don't know if, like, tree growth rate is affected in the winter. I feel like it might be. I feel like I read that in the wiki. But I could be wrong, um, so I'll, I'll find out. <laughs> um, let's see, raw dirt? No, I was wondering where the dirt went. I couldn't find it. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and use this dirt. I think it's different than this dirt, but it's fine. Um, oh, no, stop it. Come on. So one thing that I noticed uh, that a lot, not that I, I just realized that we don't have, that we did have before, is a bed. Um, I came pretty close to dying, and I was thinking, oh, I'll just go sleep the night away. Um, but I, I can't do that. I don't have a bed anymore. Oh my god, I need more dirt. Hmm. Yeah, I need more dirt. <laughs> um. Yeah, we don't have the bed anymore, so that really sucks. I'm thinking, though, um, we got a lot of jute, or I got a lot of jute from mending all the crops and everything, or tending to all the crops. Um... Oh, can I use gravel? I kind of feel like I shouldn't try to find out. You know, it should be fine, because it's just taking out all the, the airspace. Um, we have a lot of jute, so I was thinking that uh, maybe in the next episode, we can go grab those sheep uh, that are... Su oh. Ooh, almost missed that. <laughs> that are super far away over there before the winter comes. Um, because we are a year ahead of schedule. Um, we are in autumn, so by the time, by the time I start next episode, it'll probably be late autumn, or maybe like super early spring. Um, that would probably be a really good time to go, go for those sheep guys. Um, I'm gonna also go ahead and throw that out. I don't really want it, and I also gotta put all the rest of the wood away, um, which is fine. But like, I grabbed all the string that I did have. Um, and I made two silk cloths, so we technically only need a little bit more, but, um, let's go ahead and grab those sheep for next episode, too. Um, 
But before we do that, I think it'd probably be pretty smart to have a nice place for the um, the animals to live. Uh, like I said, I've been trying to keep track of the cow, the one female cow that I have left. One of them escaped somehow and died. Um, one of these is a female. And I've been trying to uh, milk her as like regularly as I can, except I don't know which one's the female. It is the one with the udders. Come on. <laughs> Give me your milk. <laughs> I need it. Um, but yeah, so if you don't remember, I had a bunch of cows like this. Uh, and uh, a lot of them died. And I only had like two left. And I don't know how. I think because like they kept pushing each other inside the wall. I've seen them do it before. Um, they kept pushing each other inside the wall. And I think it just might be because they're a little overcrowded. Even though like they have all this space over here. Um... I want to give them like grass and like room to graze and everything. So what I'm thinking is I'll probably, I'm trying to think where I'm going to do this. Um, maybe on the other side over here, I want to like have, oh yeah, this would be perfect. Like even if I do it back here and take like those trees out or something. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Okay. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead, grab some dirt, do some basic terraforming. Um, all around here, look at my ghost keys. I'm not pressing anything. My keyboard's moving by itself. Um, I'm going to flatten out this land a little more. Or maybe not. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to also go grab some materials empty on my inventory. And we're going to make like a little fenced off area that the animals can come in and out of. I think that would probably be good. Plus, I think the animals actually need grass to live. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and clean up my inventory. We're going to grab some wood and uh, start working on that. <laughs> You guys, I've collected way too much wood. <laughs> like, this is pretty uh, crazy. I didn't I didn't know I had this much. Like, I knew a lot of them were pretty full. But not this full. <laughs> um, okay, I think that's going to be fine. Yeah, wait, is this? No, these are all pine. Right? No, that's spruce. Oh, you've been, you've been tricking me. I'll keep that over there just in case. Oh, yeah, I just cut down the two spruce trees. Okay. Um, but anyways, I think I'm going to be using uh, these spruce logs. Nope, I didn't mean to use the spruce logs. I wanted to use pine. <laughs> um, well, anyways, we can see how they look. Um, I kind of forget anyways. Oh, cool. I remembered. Um, these are the spruce logs. If I don't, if I don't use these for the, the animal pens, it'll be fine because I can use those in the house. Um, all right. I feel like I made too many. And then these ones are the pine logs. I really want to use the pine logs. I think, uh, I really like the, the birch, not birch, the spruce wood texture, the vanilla spruce wood texture. Um, but this is how they're going to look. Honestly, that's not that bad. I think that looks pretty good. I think, uh, using these is going to probably be the best choice. So let me go ahead and find a few more. Pine, 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 pine. All right, just gonna look around. Yeah, everything looks kind of safe, as safe as it can be. Um, I threw down some torches, but I don't think that's gonna help too much. <laughs> uh, there's still been like tons of mobs spawning around here, but it's, I think it's gonna be fine now. Oh, maybe not. There's like creepers and everybody over here. Come on, give me your gunpowder. Nice. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, my sword broke. No, no. Damn it. Okay, we gotta go get a new sword. All right, iron sword. Two hundred and fifty-four attack damage. That sounds pretty good. I think I'm. Re I'm looking forward to using the sword. Um. Oh. Oh yeah. That that was a lot easier. Iron swords are amazing. Oh, another one? Come on, more string, please. Nice. <laughs> Didn't even stand a chance. Still take two shots on a zombie. Cool, we got that guy out. These guys aren't going to die quick enough. <laughs> I hear the horses. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. Um, I don't exactly know how I want to do this. I feel like, hmm, where's my axe? Do-do-do. 
So this is right here. This is like the main walkway and everything. I don't think I want to have it go out right here, you know. I feel like having it go out this side would be better. So like if we if we just like connected this fence over here, maybe go one more this way. Uh oh. <laughs> um Yeah, we're going to need a lot more wood. Um whoa, did it get rid of the torch? That's kind of dumb. <laughs> um So we gotta pull the land back a little more. But I think having it go out a little more this way is gonna be it's gonna be what I want. Yeah. Take all this out. There we go. Um Yeah, and like if this area doesn't even need to be that big. Like I just want it I just wanted to have like some area for the animals to like roam around in. And I really like this pine log. Or the pine fence. Uh, maybe not even to there. To here? Yeah, and then just have it connect back. Oh. I should... Yeah, I should just connect it over to here. Cool. And I don't know how I'm going to have... What I was talking about like a minute ago was I don't know how I'm going to have like the, the opening to this area. Because I don't want it to be there. I think I'll probably just have it, like, in the back right here. Should probably finish the fence first. <laughs> um, there. I'll make a, I'll make a gate later. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna have to, like, corral the cows back here. Probably do a little bit of reorganizing in here, too. Like, maybe put the cows back right here, and then keep the horses over there. I think that'd probably be a little better. Yeah. Cool. So that, that can stay. This will turn to grass. Um, you can see like all the different dirt types I use. But I think this is like exactly what I wanted. Um, and then I can get like some... What are they called? Hay bales? No, there's no hay bales in this. I can get some straw. Straw might be a thing. Like the, 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 the hay... Like the blocks of hay? Straw? Whatever it is. Uh, those might look okay. I think that could be a thing. But then the animals can like walk through it, so I don't know, we'll see. I think this is going to be good, and I need to get some jack-o'-lanterns for inside of here too, because I don't want it to be too dark. These torches aren't going to last forever. Oh wow, did, did those die? I'm trapped in here. <laughs> um, did those trees die? No, that one... That one's just growing really funny. That's weird. Huh. Hopefully it'll go back to normal. Um, but yeah, so I think I think this is going to be good. I think what we have here is going to be perfect. Um, yeah, let me just switch the animals around. <laughs> Alright, and these are the last two. I think I could just leave them in the doorway right here. I don't know how dangerous it's going to be to just have like... Uh-oh, uh I lost the lead. <laughs> I don't know how dangerous it's going to be to just have like this area open like this. Come on, where'd it go? I lost I lost the lead. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I don't know how dangerous it's going to be to have this area just open like that, but I think it's going to be fine. Um, one of the horses is back there still, but that's also okay. And I'm thinking, too, probably move the pigs over here or something. Or maybe just take down this whole wall or put a horse over here. I don't know. Um, but the cows are probably the most important animal that we have because they are the ones that give us milk. Um... And not just the cows, this one cow. Can I really not milk you anymore? Is it because you don't like me anymore? Yeah, you hate me. <laughs> um, should probably go feed her. Um, all the all the cows like liked me for a minute, but then they just they they stopped. So, I I don't know. <laughs> Um, but that is going to be it for the episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm really glad to have this series back. Um, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. I am Mr. Envelope, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. I don't think that's going to be the first one. You can't make a pickaxe out of it. You can't make a pickaxe out of it. Oh,
fall down. Oh, we get pushed. Oh, we get pushed again. Oh, we get pushed again. All right. So that probably wasn't that um, interesting. 